What's going on guys? It's Eli. We had just left the theater. There's a little blue. Yep. Yeah, that's... We just saw Titanic, and as you read the title of this vlog, so... So, get a few things out of my pocket. Oh. Hold on a second, guys. Oh, wait, 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 is there anything empty, like, you know? Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right, actually, I need a few things out of the uh, trunk, just uh, get the head ear, ear, ear plugs. There's Sky Zone and the T-Rex Center, T-Rex ex Experience. We should give that a try. We're still going to give that a try, the T-Rex Experience. We'll give it a try soon. Um, but anyway, so, oh, let me, let's see right here. But anyways, um, look at that moon over there. There's the theater, so. Put this inside. Uh, you got it. No. Oh, okay. Is that mine or yours? There's that. It's yours. Oh, oh, that, 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 that Coke? Yep, got it for you. Okay. Get the house before left. Okay, okay, thanks. Well, anyways, so. And what we, uh, what did we think of seeing Titanic? Well, Blue, you know? Well, this was my third time seeing it on the big screen. So, yep. first time I saw it, I went with your mom when it first came out at the theaters back in the 90s. Uh -huh. And then she dragged me back kicking and screaming for another viewing. <laughs> and uh, I went willingly at first. And then when we sat down in the theater, I thought, oh, God, I have to sit through this again. <laughs> so this time it had been, uh... you know, 20 years since I'd seen it. So uh, this time it was a little bit different. It was, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, had, I just had, a, I, it was just a better, a better movie this time for some reason. I guess it's just because I'm older now. Yeah. And uh, there you go. You know, so it's a good movie. It's, you know, it's, it's got its, for me, it's got its eye rolling moments because you know me, I like Star Wars and Marvel and, you know, any Star Trek, Star Dis Trek, Disney. yeah, Disney anything any any whimsical stuff like that yeah so i was uh i'm i'm less into the the dark drama and that's what titanic mm. is because it's it's based on a true story yeah so it is so and it's still pretty good it's still a good film you know it's a very good film james cameron directing and leonardo dicaprio and kate winston in the film they you did know a, did a very good job and bill paxton and all the others the, so the late bill paxton that's so. right yeah yeah I sat there watching him and thinking that you know he just passed away last year no it was like two years ago, two years so, ago some, right? i think it was, no, it was around 2016. So. yeah it's really sad i know nice guy and a great actor yeah yeah he was mm -hmm. okay. um and uh, so yeah and what about you guys like what do you think like you, you enjoyed you, you like titanic and such all that just leave leave some comments down below about that um in fact i will go ahead and say this you know that there's a thing for flashback cinema you can do requests like if there's a certain film you want to see you know whatever you can put it in there and and that's really cool they do that you know yep yeah and we me and Lil Blue, we have our requests. We know, we know what we know the movies we want to see. What's your, which one do you, what's your request for? The of, right stuff. The right stuff. Yep, my favorite movie of all time. I was gonna say, for those of you that don't know, the right stuff. You guys know that film with the astronauts and such. It's Lil Blue's favorite movie. It is. It has. Um, it's. Of course, it is based off of a true story. So it highlights um, General Chuck Yeager's. Um, breaking the sound barrier and um, which whether you know or not Chuck Yeager is from Lincoln County yeah down in Hamlin West Virginia uh-huh and, and Chuck Yeager uh, makes a cameo in the film does he he does make a cameo in the film mm -hmm. and he was not he was not selected for the astronaut corps and he was probably the most qualified but he was not selected because he did not go to college can't they see were anything guys. college graduates so um as a consequence throughout the years uh, there was a lot of resentment between the astronauts and well I'll say this between Chuck Yeager and NASA put it that yeah way. Um, not not 
not good stuff going on, you know, fellas? Well, you know, I don't blame him for feeling slighted because I'm sure he did. You know, he was a, he was a superior pilot, uh, test pilot. He was he he literally did have the right stuff. Yeah. And he he should have been an astronaut, but yeah. it didn't happen. In title. Um, mm -hmm. So the astronauts, they the the movie follows the follows the the Mercury program, the first, the original mm -hmm. seven astronauts. Um, <clears throat> Mm -hmm. and the first the first flights in space and just shows you how pioneered they were and uh and yeah yeah anyway take that down because there's a well, police officer because following because people yeah they couldn't, like they couldn't they couldn't they couldn't see you you know understood. it was understood. dark understood. it was All actually right, pitch then. dark when we were I got you. down on that road but anyway that's that's uh it's a good movie. It's a great movie. I mean, it won. It, it almost won Best Picture. It was nominated. I mean, it was nominated for Best Picture. It was nominated for so many Oscars, and it won so many Oscars, and it was yeah. pathetic. It was like <laughs> the Oscar winning movie that year, and I never saw it on the big screen. I've seen it probably, yeah. I'm not kidding you, I've probably seen it 25 or 30 times <laughs> on yeah. uh, on VHS, Blu ray, on TV, uh -huh. and uh, on. You like know. everybody sit down, you can, and if you catch it on some on on it somewhere on if any network's playing it, you just leave it on there. Oh yeah, and it's a very long movie. It's over three hours long. It uh, came on. It came on just H like just like how Titanic is. It came on HBO, and when it was featured on HBO, they literally had uh, they literally had a an intermission on uh, HBO. I'm not kidding you. They had like a so what if they an intermission? If like if they show this, in, I assume so. Probably they did it in theaters. They would have intermission, you know. Um, I, if they didn't do Titanic, Titanic, they wouldn't do that. I need to. Yeah, they know, didn't. Yeah, the Titanic, the Titanic didn't have, have that. Probably no. not when you first saw it. First no, two, no, ten, and ten and when, and, ten and when we saw did. it. Yeah, ten come when we saw because, yeah, because here's the interesting thing because Flashback Cinema did show Ten Commandments and me and Lil Wu saw that. That was like right around a right around when. We were, I was, we were about to start YouTube and such, and we saw Ten Commandments, and they did have an intermission. I got up, I got up and went to the restroom. You stayed there, you know. Right. Yeah. Uh, I stayed there the whole time. I did not move during that whole film. Yeah. And, and it was, I watched it from beginning to end. You've got at the very beginning. It shut. You know, uh, it's really, it's really interesting because it's. Uh, you have you know you have a curtain and you have a microphone and and the uh, director Cecil B. DeMille steps out from behind the curtain gives and, the inter introduction and, and gives the introduction to the film talks a little bit about the history uh, based around the you know the Bible and yeah and, and Moses you know and the and the Ten Commandments and free and the um, um, the Israelites yeah uh, and, from Egypt and what's the director's name again um, Cecil B. DeMille yeah you know that he this is he did. He did an original one, I think, around the 1920s or something like that. Uh, yeah, something like that, or the or the 30s. Um, I think it was in the 30s, actually. Yeah, but it was uh, a silent film, you know. Yeah, it's but uh, it was done, and it was it was pretty epic, you know, when it was done. But the one with uh, the one with Charles Heston, that yeah. I just don't think that could ever be topped. Because mm -hmm. it's interesting that he re he redirected uh, Ten Commandments, you know, did it, I guess to do an update or something. To yeah. get more epic and such, you know. And the interesting thing is, and I don't know if you had been, I don't even know if you were born yet. You may have you may have just been a, a baby when we went to Disney. Um, yeah. When the uh, at Hollywood Studios. Um, oh yeah, I remember those. Like you told, they had the staff that that Charlton had, Heston. They called. literally in the back lot tour when you went through the museum, they had the staff that Charlton Heston, who played Moses, had. You know, they had that display. Yeah, and I was really I was really surprised because. Hmm. It was a. It was. It was the actual one. It was the actual one. Yes. That Charles Heston, Heston held in his hand. Right, but it was. It was all it was. It was a rod, and it had. Um, it was. It had resin uh, <coughs> molded around it to look like to look like an actual piece of wood. Hmm. So they molded it um, the way they wanted it to look. I guess the director it wasn't good enough to get a, a piece of wood and go out, in the, go out in the forest somewhere and chop down a piece of wood. And, That'd be hard. Uh, well, no, it wouldn't be hard. That's what was so funny about it. They could have oh, found okay. any number of places that they could have gotten a, a piece of wood, but they chose to use some kind of a metal rod, and uh, and I don't know. It may have been a wooden rod, but it it was for, it had it was molded it had resin molded around it, and you could 
could see where some of the resin was starting to break break off of it, uh, where it was so old. Yeah. But um, yeah, when I looked at that, I really it was almost like seeing an actual biblical artifact, and I had to remind myself, uh, no, this it's is, the prop from the movie. This is a prop from the movie. This was not the staff that Moses no. actually carried. No. Uh, I do remember this. Like I'll quickly mention this. You know. We went to Disney. One time we went to Disney and, you know, we were at Hollywood Studios. We were in line for the great movie ride. You flipped. You went crazy when you saw the Star Wars chess, chess piece, chess table. Yeah, I sure did. I sure did. Because uh, that was uh. seeing something. That was standing face to face with something from my childhood. Oh, yeah. That I had only ever seen on the big screen. That yeah. Was, it was just. Exactly. That was amazing to see that. Yeah. But, you know, they also, for a while, I remember they even had the Ark of the Covenant from Raiders of the Lost Ark there for a while. Oh, did they? Yeah. And I told you they had the uh, the uniforms from Star Trek The Motion Picture there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyways, jumping... I saw those. I saw those. Yeah, I showed you pictures and video, so... Yeah. I only got video, I think, so, you know. But uh, jumping back to flashback cinema, so you, you want to see the right stuff in theaters. Yeah, uh, you even were happy to see that a, vi a video of the right stuff uh, made a, a cameo, I guess you could say, in Captain Marvel and Blockbuster. Yeah, Blockbuster. Was, uh, you uh, even you leaned over to me and such like, uh, they have it. My, my favorite movie makes an appearance, you know? Yeah, yeah, it was Some, something like that. On VHS, no less, in a Blockbuster. That's what was so funny. Yeah. Okay, so the right stuff. Yeah, I'd be up for seeing that. The right stuff. There's enough my request because we were talk talking so much. Um, Jumping back to flashback cinema, so the right stuff. My request, actually, what I'd like to see is Roger Rabbit, and you be you be up for seeing that as well. I would very much be up for seeing that. Yes. Yeah, because you had watched before and you enjoyed it, didn't you? I most certainly did. Yeah. So Roger Rabbit is my request. Um, that would be a good one as well. I mean, it would be pretty obvious, you know. It's a good film, and why wouldn't they show it? So they were because. That was directed by Robert Zemeckis, and even they showed the Back. To, so far, they had only shown Back to the Future Part One and Two. They were also done by Robert, directed by Robert Zemeckis. You know, and yet both of those, and yet Back to the Future and Who, Fra Who Framed Roger, but they have Christopher Christopher Lloyd's in those. Doc Brown and Judge Doom, um, etc. So, and of course, actually, the music from Back to the Future and Roger Rabbit. Alan Silvestri, so, but I would be, yeah, Roger Rabbit is my request, um, you know, who doesn't love Roger Rabbit, I do, um, I think it would be really awesome to see that on the big screen, you know, and, um, also, because, like, okay, like, you guys let us know in the comments, leave some comments down below what you think of me, of my request for what Flashback Cinema should show Roger Rabbit, and what you think of Little Blue's request, which is the right stuff, so, because I, those are pretty good choices, we we have, you know, for requests. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, but you, you guys let us know. Leave some comments down below what you think, you know. Um, because again, we definitely go see those movies. Definitely. Definitely would. Yep. So, anyway, so, I think we pretty much covered everything, so, um, but once again, seeing Titanic was, was really fun. We it's a good film and such, and again, you guys let us know what you think. Leave, leave comments down below, as I said, about Titanic, what you think of it, etc. And again, you enjoyed it? Enjoyed it. Good. Alright guys, so with all that said, again, leave some comments down below about Titanic, uh, The Right Stuff, Roger Rabbit, everything that we've been talking about, what me and Lil Blue have been talking about, just leave comments. So, Anyways, with all that said, guys, we hope you enjoyed this vlog in one take. Um, anything else to say? say bye bye or off out oh okay off, off out off out sorry yep. <laughs> i was kind of concentrating on my drive okay so little blue little blue says off out for me again we hope you enjoyed this vlog in one take and we'll see you guys in the next video slash vlog take care and peace out